Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Rashawn from Coffee Plants and Flip Flop Tans. I was super lucky to get in on the Erin Condren teacher launch this year and they have sent me some amazing products to review for you. So I wanna thank the team over at Erin Condren for sending me all of these amazing things. I'm gonna go through what I have, um, give you a little bit of information about it and then we can talk about how we can use these things in our classroom. So let's get started. Okay, there is a whole lot here. And um, I know one of the big questions this year is the teacher planner, the changes. So I'm gonna move some of these accessories out of the way. We will come back to them. And we will start with the teacher planner itself. Okay, let's see if I can get all of this in frame here for you. Make this a little smaller. Okay, so I did get the eight and a half by 11 new vertical design in bold blooms. Um, I put it in this beautiful new folio that they came out with the clear cover. You can still see your planner. The folio itself is a vegan leather. It's got this clear cover, like I said, two snaps for depending on what size you need. And it's got a few pockets to put your items in and your cover just slips back here. Um, upon first getting this, my thoughts are, I love the color. It is a little stiff, but here's the thing. I have a feeling the more I use this, the more this is gonna get um, a little more worked in and it'll lay a little bit more flat on my planner. So we're gonna see how that goes. All right, so here is the planner. I did get the new sunset coil added to this planner. This year you can get the sunset coil on the teacher planners, which I think is amazing. There's also still the option of the gold coil or platinum coil um, at ordering and the sunset coil is I believe it's a $10 up charge. So check the site for that as launch day happens. So um, the ruler, okay? You'll see that this ruler is different this year. Let me see, I have one from previous years. Here we go. So this is the ruler from previous years. Um, I love these rulers. I have a ton of them and use them all the time, but they have upgraded the ruler to a stencil. So it's got some amazing things that you can use. It still has the measurements on there. I hope you can see that. Um, you've got a habits tracker or mini calendar here. And you've got some boxes and some other shapes and check boxes that you can use. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm just gonna set my ruler aside for a minute. I'll clip that back on. The Bold Blooms color palette is like this muted pastels. Um, it's got kind of like a darker feel to it. I really love it. Um, you can get your cover customized. I just had them at the school year on the front. Okay, so opening it up. Now my ruler's in the way, go figure. Okay, one thing if you know about following me, if you have watched my videos before, expect the imperfections because it's gonna be a hot mess around here, but we're gonna get it done. Okay, so the inside of the cover has a dashboard here that you can use like wet erase markers or like the paint markers and things on it and then it wipe right off so that it's still a usable surface. You could also, I, I put sticky notes here so that I don't forget things. Okay, so here we have our front page, just teacher lesson planner. You can put your name on it. It's still that beautiful Mohawk paper. Inside, we have an all about me section and then classroom volunteer and contact information section, events and dates. Mm -hmm. um, classroom resources, professional development. Now, you know, I've been using the focused seven by nine teacher planner the past few years, so I'm not quite sure. Um, how many of these changes are different from the eight and a half by 11. Um, but I believe we still had this page last year. I know we had this page because I never used this part and I fill this in with information that I need. 
Okay, so we still have the communication log. Um, I have used this in the past. I've changed this to a password page. Not any passwords that are like super secure, you know, don't put that in there, but like teacher websites, things like that, that I need to remember have gone here. Then we have our year at a glance calendar. I love using this for like the school calendar or other events. I'm loving the bold blooms up at the top. The font is absolutely beautiful. Um, here we have our year plan boxes. The months are smaller, so you could easily white these out if you want to put them in another order. But I'm really enjoying the font on here. And like I said, the color palette of this planner is great. So the lighting in here is just not wonderful. Of course, it is a spring day and it is decided to all of a sudden get cloudy as soon as I'm filming. Go figure. Okay, so the next page is our graph pages. You can use this for your classroom map for how you're going to set up your classroom. You could even track your data here. Um, anything you can think of. You get a few of these pages and then a few notes lined pages. Okay, and then the beginning of every month, you're going to get like this dashboard page. You're gonna have this notes page here. And then on the right hand side, you're gonna have this notes page and then dates to remember for that month. This I think is new where it says practice makes progress. I love that. So here at the beginning of the month, you're still gonna get the laminated tab with the month and then here we have the month view something new with the design this year is this um, shaded area for the sidebar i usually sticker up my monthly pages with all kinds of different sticker kits or i make them myself but honestly, with this one this year, I'm really thinking just going with exactly what they have printed here. It is so pretty. So you have some like petals over here. We have the beautiful flowers. And then you have your full open month view. Okay, you do have a mini month. Can you see that at the bottom? You do have a mini month at the bottom of your um, monthly view for the next month. Okay, so here we go. The lesson plan pages. This is the new vertical um, layout. So teachers have been asking for this for years and I know we're really excited about it. My elementary school teacher friends out there are like over the moon that they get to try this this year. Um, my secondary teacher friends. Hi, that's me. I'm a secondary teacher. I really want to love this and use this and I'm going to figure out a way to make it work. I only have one prep, which means I teach one subject with another like advisory type class. Um, but I'm sure I could make this work too. But for my elementary teacher friends, like this is amazing. Okay, so you have now your dates are at the top where before they were on the side and you had to plan going horizontally. You now have your dates at the top. So everything for Monday is going to go down vertically and you have your subject headers here. So you could do your language arts, your reading, your math, social studies, science, um, interventions, however you need to put that in there. And then for each day you have what you're gonna do each day in a vertical sense. You only have to have half of your planner open on your desk for that day. Um, I love that. Being a secondary teacher, however, I'm used to having my stuff up here and then having big chunks. I'm going to make it work. Can you hear the confusion and the, the unsureness going on? Um, anytime something is new, you've been doing something the same way for years and you, you ask for changes. You're like, you know, it'd be great if we could have it this way, if we could have the vertical like we've been asking. And I was one of the people asking for vertical and now it's in front of me. And change is scary. And I think it's going to be amazing. But change is scary. So I cannot wait to see what everybody does with this. I really like that we have our top priorities up here. You have a box to list your meetings. In my previous years, I always used one of the columns on this side to list all the meetings. We have a checklist over here, which I absolutely love. Here you get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. On the left-hand side, 
Thursday, Friday on the right-hand side. They did include Saturday and Sunday. Um, this is one of the one, one of the things where I'm like, eh, not so sure. I might actually put a different header here for um, future planning or notes or something here and use this section for that because my weekends don't go into my work planner. But there are some people out there that they have things that go through the weekends, whether they might be doing a club that has an event on the weekend or school sports that end up being on the weekend, things like that. So this might come in handy. The other thing I was thinking was this layout could possibly be a game changer for a home planner as well. Like having everything for home, having different sections for different people in the family, what's going on on the weekend. Like the ideas that are going through my head are really kind of like endless at this point. So I love this new layout. Um, I'm going to play around with it and uh, keep an eye on my Instagram um, to see what kind of posts I put up for what I can put in here for some mock spreads. Um, so let's keep moving through. So July is this beautiful like mauve color that just goes with this coil so well. So you're going to get a few pages in here you have. Let me go back and count those. And you're here for the review, right? And I'm saying a few. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so it ends the month here. So this one is four and you're gonna have the lined note pages at the end of every month. And then it goes into the next month. This one says, create the world you want to live in. I'm loving these quotes at the top of these pages. So now we're into August and like this beautiful like gold color. And here's our August month. Okay, and then, so here's what I was looking for. The end of July is still gonna stick with the same July color and then it's going to blend into when August starts. So if your month ends and it's partially in um, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of that next month, it is gonna be behind the next month's tab, which I think is pretty standard um, for our planners. Uh, we're pretty used to that, but here are the August pages. So still going beautifully with this coil. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at each month. So here is September. It says make a plan, teach and repeat. And here is the gorgeous flowers. I'm just, I'm really loving the simplicity. Like I said, I have been in the focus planner for a couple of years for the seven by nine. So having this open canvas where I can really do what I want, um, I really do like. I didn't know if I was gonna love this shading on the side, but I am surprising myself each time we turn the page. I'm all for it. So we're gonna go into, so here's one of September pages. And then October, oh, I skipped the quote. Let's see what the quote says. Never forget how strong you are. October is this beautiful plum color. Okay, and then keep going into November. You matter just as you are. December, every child is a teacher who believes in it. I can't even read and I'm the teacher. Behind every child is a teacher who believes in them. All right. <laughs> Goodness, bear with me, everybody. All right, December is absolutely gorgeous. I love this flower up here. Um, I like that it's this olive green and not that bright um, Erin Condren green. You guys know what the green that I'm talking about that's usually in December. It's more of like a lime color. Okay. So next one is a teacher takes a hand, opens a mind, and touches a heart for January. Okay. And then February is share the gift of learning. Oh, that is so pretty. Got a flower up there. Okay. March, the world needs more teachers like you. I think we're starting to get a little more of a repeat of the colors now. April, we're back to that purple, spark curiosity in hearts and minds. Okay. And then May, the future is bright. 
Well, that's pretty. I don't think we've seen that one yet. Have we seen? No, I don't. Well, maybe it was November, but look at me noticing the details. You don't just teach, you inspire for June. The champion for your students. So be the champion for your students. And here we are in July. Um, my school year usually ends in June, so I tend to tear the July pages out to give myself a little more room on the coil as it bulks up throughout the year. But hey, there's year-round schools, things like that. Um, so here we have July. And at the end of the book, so whatever month you end in, you can choose your um, start date and end date. There's a couple of different options when you get onto the website to order. When you get to the end of the book, you're going to have some lined pages. Okay, this one says motivate, encourage, believe, and educator. And then there's going to be the checklist at the back. These checklists I like, they still keep with the same tone of the colors of the tabs. And um, you're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 in the planner. There is also an option to add on more checklist pages, or if you like to have your checklist separate, they do have a different checklist book that you can get. I generally keep my checklists separate, um, but that's because I'm a secondary teacher and this just isn't enough. Okay, so now there's new add-ons. Um, the new add-on options at the end of the book I chose the clubs and teams. Well, the tab says clubs and teams, but the um, title up here says extracurriculars and committees. So here it gives me a box to list my extracurriculars or the committees that I'm a part of and some notes. And then on the left-hand side, you get uh, this page where you can list name. I'm, I'm gonna say that that's gonna be the name of your meeting. Um, what extracurricular or committee you're in, the mission or purpose of the meeting, the meeting time where you're meeting, and then any important dates coming up for that committee, who was present at the meeting, an empty box for anything you might want to put here, and then you get a whole um, lined note page on the right-hand side for whatever happened in that meeting. So, and then it just repeats, and they all are in this same um, peach type color, okay, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. So it has nine of those sections in there. And after the last one, I did think this was kind of funny. Um, I have another checklist sheet. So if you look at how it's in here, what they did was they popped it in here right in between this checklist page and this checklist page because on the back of it is the ending divider for the book. Um, honestly, I kind of wish they would have just put it after this end divider because it's kind of weird to have this checklist page. I don't know if that's how it's going to be when they purchase them or if it's just part of the one that I got sent in this PR package because sometimes they take that in consideration when, when uh, we point that out. So, but one thing I didn't point out that I think is really important to note is these add-ons here are perforated. So here, I don't know if you can see it, but this is perforated here for these committee meeting pages. The checklist pages themselves are not perforated, but these clubs and teams, the add-on is. So, I mean, that's kind of a cool idea might need to pull it out and use that paper for something. Okay, so at the end, you still get your stickers. Um, I'm still in love with this color palette. So these look pretty um, on track for what we've seen in the past for the stickers at the end. But you have things like staff meeting to do, no school, after school, report due, testing, don't forget, um, parent-teacher conference, IEP, and then some icons here. Oh, come on, turn, there we go. And then these, these are my favorite, I love these. These little like paper stickers. Um, and then we have some take note, important, assembly, 
another conference field trip. So these are cool. I like these. Um, this one, these are the ones that kind of fit the subject labels that used to be at the top when it was the horizontal planner, but I'm sure you could use these in those boxes as well. And then you have some washi strips here that are really pretty that go along with the uh, floral theme. Behind that, we have our event labels. And then we still have the pocket in the back where you can put all of your extra materials. It's a two-sided pocket. And then in the back, you also have the clear cover. Um, not a clear cover, what do I wanna call this? This is a, um, like a page protector. Um, and in years past, I've nipped the page protector out of my planner and then added more, so I had more. But this is also an add-on option for the eight and a half by 11. You can add on a few more page protectors in there. And inside the page protector, you're going to get these um, holidays so you can add these to your planner as you need to and so they have all kinds of different holidays in here trying to be as inclusive as we possibly can and then there's also some blank labels here so you can also add your own if you if they don't have all of them and then these little ones here they're like little teardrop event stickers can you see that so at first I was like, oh, those are cute little accent stickers, but then I realized those are the teardrop shapes. So we have all of those, and you'll find those when you get your planner inside this. Um, it keeps it from getting all bent up in the box. So I'm just gonna slide that back in there. Okay, and then behind that, you still have your back cover that, again, you can write on this with the, white, or the wet erase markers, um, or just use sticky notes or whatever on there, and then your back cover. So, what do you think? I mean, like I said, change is hard. Um, I'm excited for it. I'm gonna see what I can do with these new layouts and and see how I can make it work. I think I think this is gonna be an interesting journey. So I'm excited. I can't wait to dive into it. Okay. So when I pulled the planner out, I showed you that it had this new folio. Let me see if I can zoom this out just a little bit more. All right, get my cup out of the way here. Okay, so this just slides in. See how it's, I was saying it's kind of stiff right now? The more you use it, the less that's gonna be like that. So you just take this back cover and I'm just gonna slide the back cover. It goes in real easy, it slides right in. And you have two snaps here. If you get your planner super duper duper full, you can you have a second option for the snap. So you just bring it in and snap it on like that. Um, it also has inside a pen loop right here. I don't know, can you see that in the camera? So it's got a pen loop right here. So um, to keep your pen. And then when you open this up going this way, okay, you have room to put your other things so if you have your grading tracker book you could throw that in there and then if you have let's see like your sticker book you can put your sticker book in there um, and then it'll still hot mess express sorry about that I got the coil stuck on my keychain right there all right and then you take it and still closes right up and you can take everything with you to your next meeting. All right, so let's go ahead and go into some of these accessories. Since I already kind of showed you the tracker book and the sticker book on how they fit into that folio, let's look at these first. The teacher tracker book, um, I guess I chose that bold blooms and I mean, I just can't get over how much I really love this pattern. So absolutely love it. It says share the gift of learning on the front and it is a soft bound, kind of like the petite journals, but it's not A5 size. So it's a little bit wider than the petite journals. I know I have one around here somewhere where I can compare it. One moment. Found one. All right, so I have a meal planner here. So here is the comparison for the petite planner line. 
um, compared to the tracker book. So it is a little bit bigger, so it's not gonna fit in one of the traveler's notebooks or the petite folios, but it does fit right in the back of that um, agenda, so it's perfect. All right, so here we have the teacher record book. You can put your name here. It's the same paper as the petite journals though. So here we can put in your class schedule and then any classroom events and dates. Another communication log. Okay. Couple pages of communication log. That is helpful, okay? So the communication log and the teacher planner, they give us two pages and I just, people who aren't teachers don't understand that I would fill the two pages in in like less than a month for the amount of time. So I'm sending communication home, whether it's phone calls, emails, um, letters, things like that. Um, so having a couple of pages here is helpful. Then we have um, the grid page, just like the teacher planner. This would be great for whether you're tracking your SMART goals, your data, um, you're making your small groups. I like to use sticky notes with the kids' names and move them around for in my book while I'm trying to figure out groups. Visually, it helps me um, instead of trying to just write their names out. And then here is the checklists. So it you have a gray line and then a white line so you could see them separated. It is not perforated. And you have the students' names on this side. So it's on the left side only and it would go all the way across. You have room here to write your assignment or whatever it is you're checking off. Okay, and then here it says folder cut on this line. So if you have um, a population that isn't moving around a lot, you don't have a lot of change in your population, you could always just folder cut this line so that your names are still here and you just keep flipping. Um, in the community that I teach in, we have quite a bit of turnaround with um, new students and things like that. So I generally just write the names in each time, but you do whatever works for you. So you have the half of the book is the checklist and then the other half of the book is all these lined pages which you can use to take notes in your grading. After the very last note page ends with just your back cover, there isn't a pocket or anything in this back cover. The checklist book does fit perfectly right in the back of the agenda cover to keep it with you and to keep help you keep you organized as you're doing all of the to-do lists and tasks you have as a teacher. So how do we have a little bit more fun with that? Stickers, let's take a look. The sticker book that I was sent to review with you guys is in the Evolve design this year. This is bright colors. So we have some of the headers and asterisks some to-do lists with that beautiful watercolor Evolve design on that and silver foil. I believe, let's see. Oh, now we have some rose gold foil. And then here, these are like transparent stickers. So it's got meeting, conference, testing, IEP. Those are really pretty. Okay, and then we have some more. We have field trip, assembly, observation, and library. There's also personal day, planning, early release, um, professional development. Well, it says development. My brain immediately made it say professional development. And then break begins and break ends. I love these here. These are like um, meeting stickers. So you can put the type of meeting you have and it lists two and like the time and these are I just want to test it these are like the thicker stickers I thought they might have been like the washi paper but now you can list birthdays in your planner we have some washi strips with quotes and then here are some more little headers and tabs some circles and then these oh, stay open then we have some more clear transparent stickers with some gold foiling for icons and then some deco, we have ready to learn, dream big, motivate, teach, inspire. I love that globe. Okay, and then we have some longer stickers for like the note section and note to self um, stickers in the middle. So that would be the cool for school sticker book. Okay, and then let's see what else came because I have all kinds of different 
accessories that they sent. So the snap-in dashboards are great for inside your planner. They click right inside um, the coil. This one they sent was the Evolve snap-in dashboard. It has got the days of the week and before school and after school on it, and it's got some empty box. Okay. And then they also sent this one, which is the Universal uh, snap in to do list dashboard. I love this one. It's purple. You list the copies you need to make, what you need to grade, who you're going to contact. And on the back of this, it's got a to do list and looking ahead. So these are great. You can use the white erase markers. You can, um, um, I don't know if I said white erase. That makes no sense. Wet erase markers <laughs> or and wipe them off or you can use sticky notes. Um, I've seen some people post that they like to use Sharpies on here. I have not done that. So I can't exactly recommend if it's going to work or not. So those are the Snap-in dashboards. Okay, then I got some writing utensils here. So we have the square highlighters, the teacher dual tip markers, and gel pens. So let's look at these dual tip markers. These are very reminiscent of um, just the regular Erin Condren dual tip markers. And I think they are about the same, except for they made them a little more teacher style. They have some quotes on them that are super cute. Okay, so on the green one, oh, it's rolling away from me. The green one, it says shaping the future, and it's so it's got a thin tip at the end of this side and on this side, it's a chisel tip. Okay, and then this one says, what you do matters. This one is every student counts. I could see these as a great teacher appreciation gift because you know you give it to a teacher and they read these as they use it. Create, motivate, educate, inspire others and for the love of learning. Now it doesn't have the name of the marker on it, but it does have, shows you which side's the chisel tip and which side is um, the fine liner. Well, it's not fine liner, it's finer than the chisel tip, but on the back, it does give the colors. So we have magenta, mauve, marigold, cerulean, green, and purple, so. I like those. I like the little quotes that they put on there. That's fun. So, and they're good basic colors. So I like those. Okay. So the next set here is we have what they call their designer gel pen in a six pack. Um, it doesn't really have much other description on it, except for it says colors, red, bubblegum, purple, indigo, royal, and green. Let's open this up comes in like this. Pop these out of here real quick. Interesting packaging. Oh, that was loud. I'm so sorry. Okay. So these have quite a bit of weight to them. Let me get a notepad here. Um, this is, I believe was actually from, I think this was from the teacher teacher stuff I bought last year. So we're still using up all of our materials. All right, so this one is the red. I don't know if these write in red. I'm guessing they do because it says red. But all right, so the cap is a postable cap. Doesn't really click on there or anything. It just kind of sits. So the little bowl things on there. All right. Once the ink gets flowing, it flows really well. It's a nice gel. Um, it's an interesting feel, like the cap goes on really well on this side. Um, they do have some weight to it. I like a pen that's got a little bit of weight to it. I don't feel like I have to grip it so hard. Okay, let's try this green. Oh, look, it does say the color on the barrel. Nice. Okay. That's a pretty green. I like these. I wasn't expecting to like these, honestly, um, because they're different. Like we said, change is hard, right? So this one says bubblegum. OK. 
Okay. Interesting. All right, what does this one say? This one says royal. I don't know, that's kind of a light blue, but they're calling this one royal. I'll put that one there. I mean, they write very smooth. They're not skipping at all. The ink is flowing. And then this one is just purple. Get these little things off. I definitely like it better with the cap on it. Gives it a little bit more weight on the back. Doesn't feel so short. Okay, and this one is indigo. Ooh, that one didn't want to come off. Okay. All right. So, I mean, a lot of those sat for a while, but that indigo, I tried to swipe it right after I wrote. And so far, no smearing. But remember, I'm also using EC sticky note paper. So it depends on the paper you're going to use on if you're going to get smearing. So that was the six-pack designer gel pens. Okay. And then next we have the square highlighters. These are super cute. Look how little they are. So it's an eight pack of square highlighters. Um, it comes in colors lilac, dusk, pool, lagoon, red, blush, lemon, and lime. So let's open these up. Put them all out of here. Now it looks like, I mean, they're, these are pretty light. I thought they were going to be a little more bulky, but they are pretty light. Um, they do have the asterisks on the outside, but they're, they also have the color. So I like that. So let's look at this. Oof, open. So here we have the lime. Ah, I'm a hot mess. It's okay. Lemon. Dusk. Ooh, the dusk is pretty. Okay. Lagoon. Red. I mean, those caps, I mean, those are on well. They're kind of hard to pull off there. Pool. Ooh, that's pretty. Blush. And lilac. Ooh, those are very pretty. Okay, so we have all of those um, little highlighters. You know, I'll go ahead and since I swatched the other ones, I'm going to go back to those dual tip markers for you and we're going to do the colors on these too. So, because it just, I don't know, it only seems fair. We wouldn't want to leave them out, right? Okay, so let's see. We're going to guess the colors because I put them in the wrong order. So I'm guessing this one is magenta. That is really pretty. Maybe this one will be moth. I kind of I think that one's more like the blush color or a bubblegum color, but um, I like it. Okay, and then we have marigold pulled off the wrong side. Okay, can you still see that? Make sure I'm still in frame here. The sun decided to come out a little bit, so lighting's a little bit better. Okay, um, cerulean. I never know if I'm saying that word correctly, so if I'm not saying that word correctly, don't come for me. I'm doing my best here. Um, that's really pretty though. Okay, and then we have green. I'm gonna come up here with green. Ooh, that is a deep green. I like that. Like almost more of like a pine color. Okay, and then we have here is a purple. That is a beautiful purple. My favorite color. 
All right. So that is all of the writing utensils, some of the um, accessories. And I have to clear my desk in order to show you the last couple of things. So give me just a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the last set of things I have for you today, but um, as I talked about before when I was reading some descriptions of what Erin Condren offers, there's also some lifestyle things, but there's also um, homeschool planner and homeschool items um, and kids items being launched with this um, teacher planner launch. So some of the things that they sent here was first this caddy. It's got these beautiful asterisks on the outside. It has all these little sections to it. And then it's got all these little planning sticky notes. So here we have plan and prep, goal, today's top three, don't forget, to do, contact, and reminder. And I think this is just a cute way um, you can store all of these cute sticky notes in the caddy. Obviously, you can use this caddy for all kinds of different organizational things, but I absolutely love this to have it like sitting on the desk and to be able to pull the color code that I need for sticky notes um, is absolutely great. So um, these are really cute. I really like these. Okay, so the other thing that they sent is this little book. Um, you can tell it's part of the kids collection because it's always got the plastic coil when it's part of the kids collection. This is super cute. So when you open it up, this is called the My Activity Book. Um, just definitely aimed for a younger crowd. And I think um, this would be a great like road trip book or, you know, you go and have to sit at the restaurant. You've got your little ones with you and keep them busy. Um, this is awesome. So there's a place for them to put their name. The first tab says lists, and they can brainstorm all of the things they want to do in the different seasons. They have a spring bucket list and a summer bucket list. And these colors are just so vibrant and cheerful. And then a fall bucket list and a winter bucket list. So you can sit and you brainstorm all the wonderful activities that you want to do together. The next tab says activities. And here there's all kinds of things for the kids to do um, while they're being productive and quiet and creative. And like this book is kind of right up my daughter's alley. She would love this. So a place to fill in things that are on their mind. They can create their own shoes. Who is this? Draw a silly creature coming out of this egg. Um, what's in the treasure box? There's just so many cute little ideas to get their creative juices flowing. I remember having a book kind of like this when I was younger. Sorry, my kids were coming up the stairs making noise. Okay, so then in this section after that, if I can get my fingers to work to turn the page. Okay, we have some coloring pages. So we have a toucan and space, ice cream cones, peace signs, all kinds of cool little, there's some flowers, some flamingos, pizza. So there's some great coloring pages in here for the kiddos as well. Um, if you were at Go Wild and you were at the session with um, Simply Gilded and Jerrica, Maybe you want to use some of these to do some washi art in. Because you know that's the first thing I thought of when I saw this. So, Okay, so the next section is labeled stories. So here is just some writing paper to help the little ones create stories. They can draw a picture and write about their picture, illustrating their story. My kids would love this. They love making like their own stories and comic books and things. And there's quite a bit of pages in here for them to do that. The next section is games. So here we have some games. These are all the kinds of games that you play sitting at the restaurant with your kids or you know, you gotta wait at the doctor's office, things like that, making a secret message, doing a word search, okay. Uh, hidden treasure, animal alphabet. Like there's just so many cool things. Color in all the boxes with an X for them to see the delicious picture so they can see what picture is drawn here. So there's tons of amazing games. Look, there's even a Mad Lips in here. There's just so many cool little games, tic-tac-toe, mazes, 
Like this book is awesome. <laughs> I love this book. So tons of things to do. Kind of reminds me of like the highlights magazines when we were kids. Okay, so then drawings is the next tab. And so there's some grid paper here for them to just create their own drawing in here. And then behind the grid paper is just some blank paper to do some more drawing. And let's see what's at the end. And I think that is it at the end. And then always a good time to have a good time. And the end cover. And it's absolutely perfect for taking that little one with you. Um, honestly, I would probably use this sitting there having to wait in a waiting room or something. So I absolutely love this. So there are some amazing things in this launch. This is nowhere near all of it. Make sure you go and check it out on launch day. I'll have um, more information about everything I showed down in the description box below. Um, if you feel so inclined, I will also have my affiliate link for Erin Condren down there if you would click on that when you make your purchase. It's at no cost to you and it just kind of helps me out a little bit. And um, thank you for watching my video. I appreciate you coming back. Have a great school year next year. Before that though, have a fantastic summer and get the rest that you so deeply deserve. And thanks for watching. Bye.